Hello. Okay, so let's do some trig when we have um, solving for trig when we have trig on both sides. So just like we would if we had x on both sides, we would go ahead and get them all to one side. Okay, so we would do. Oh, it looks like. Remember, we can always make this looks like. So we would make this x go over here, right? So we get negative three equals if I take away my cos, take away my cos. Sorry, it's kind of squished in there. Uh, five minus one, that would be a four cosine theta. Okay, divide by four, divide by four. So I get negative three fourths cosine theta. Okay, so we need to find what our theta is that would give us a negative three fourths. There's no triangles with three fourths, right? So we need to go ahead and do inverse trigonometry. So we're going to go ahead and cos inverse both of those sides. So these guys go away, right? So now we're left with theta is cos inverse of negative 3 fourths. I know negative 3 fourths is negative 0.75, so I can do that part on my calculator. So let me turn that off for you guys again. There we go. Okay. Let's see if I can focus a bit better. So remember, we're going to use this second button. So it's there's no inverses there. Use the second key and your inverses come up. That's on all calculators, okay? So what do we say? We're doing cosine of negative 3 fourths. Okay, so negative 3 fourths we put in our calculator, or we know that that is 0.75. Got, oh, that's not right. I don't want that. I want 0.75. I put as 0 0.075. That's not right. And it is negative. Okay. And then I want to take the cos inverse of this. So we're going to do cos inverse of that guy. And I get 138.59-ish. So we'll say theta equals 138.59. Oh, four. I like to go out to four decimal spots because that way if they tell us to round to a tenth or a hundredth or thousandth, then we already have it rounded out. So we can just go ahead and um, round this one down appropriately. Okay, so we have our theta. So we know we had a cos, so we have a theta that is a positive, but all students take calc. When we started with our ratio here, what did we have? We had cos is equal to a negative. So which ones are cosine negative? So here's positive, positive. So we don't want those guys. So we're going to be in these two. Okay. What in the heck? This is a negative uh, 138. I can't make this 138, right? That uh, angle inside the triangle, like it has to be that I don't, mm, mm, nah, that's not going to work. Because you have 90 degrees here, 90 plus 130. We're already over 180. That doesn't exist. But what that does tell us is this outside angle is already solved for us. Okay, so we don't need to do any work really to find this guy. We do need to do work to figure out what our reference angle is. So how could we figure out what this theta inside there is? Well, if I take 180 degrees and subtract whatever, wouldn't I get that guy? So it would work the same exact way if I said 180 minus 138.5904. That's going to give me my little inside guy. So we get 180 minus 138.5904. So I get 41.4096. So now I know my little inside guy is 41.096. Okay, so then I can figure out what this guy is. If I, if I have to go 180 plus that guy. So then if I add 180 to this, whoops, 180 to this guy, I get 221.4096. Okay, so there's those guys. All right, let's try another one. 
Okay, so we have multiple trig functions here. Um, so we need to get them all to one side. So cosecant goes over here with this other cosecant. Four will go over here with the six. Goes away. So one of x or whatever you want to call it to make it look not scary. One of those things minus another one of those things is one of those things. Oops. And you don't need the one if you don't want it. And then t six minus four is two. Cosine or cosecant is the opposite of sine, correct? So then I can say that this would be, if I put this over one, this would be over sine. So, so is my sine. So this is my H and this is my O. So what triangles do I have that have a O and an H of H of two, O of one. What reference triangle is that? It would be a one, two, root three, right? Which is the 30, 60, 90. And then my opposite, so all of these guys are my ones. So that means that this angle is 30 degrees because opposite of one is 30 degrees on that 30, 60, 90 triangle. Okay, so I am talking about a sine ratio and I am talking about a positive ratio. So we're gonna go all students take calc. I want this one and this one. So this is out, this is out. Cosecant's the opposite of sine, so we follow the sine ratio over here. Okay, so what is my little triangle then? Well, this one's easy enough, this one's 30. I'm not using a calculator on this because it's a reference triangle that I know, okay? So a lot of these are going to be non-calculator active. The only time you can use a calculator is if it gives you a fraction or a, a ratio or a fraction, I guess I should say, um, like we had here. There's no reference triangle for three-fourths. Okay, so this is 30. So then we're going to have here B150. Okay, so those are my two angles for this guy between 0 and 360. We're good.